Now to a CTV investigation into the medically assisted death of an Abbotsford grandmother. Her daughters are speaking out tonight, sounding the alarm about how their mother's death was approved by health authorities. Donna Duncan's death has also sent shockwaves among advocates for people with disabilities and mental illness. Now, in a rare move, police are investigating the case. CTV's Penny Daflos has the story. It was a relatively minor car accident that would change the course of Donna Duncan's life. My mom was this vibrant, energetic person. She had recently retired as a psychiatric nurse. Her daughters say she became increasingly erratic and distraught, complaining of extreme physical sensitivities. She soon weighed just 83 pounds. We believe that she was actually starving herself. Medical records obtained by CTV News indicate Duncan had post-concussion syndrome and mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. She wouldn't follow through with any of his recommended treatments. Despite regular visits, the pandemic had Duncan isolated and deteriorating. She shocked her daughters when she applied to Fraser Health for medically assisted death last fall and was approved. I just think she didn't want to be a burden. She'd been through the system. She knew what it would take to get better and she didn't have that optimism. She Duncan's daughters argued she didn't fit the criteria and won a court injunction to halt the process. Duncan tried to take her own life and failed, but a Fraser Health doctor ultimately carried out the process as Duncan was still on a wait list for a complex chronic disease clinic. It took a year to get treatment, but it could only take four days to die. Fraser Health insists it abides by current federal legislation which states that medical assistance in dying is provided only to legally eligible patients. But Evansford Police Major Crimes Unit has opened an investigation and insists they'll need time to complete their work. We are now one of the three most permissive jurisdictions on medical assistance in dying or assisted suicide in the world. Originally, medical assisted death in Canada was approved only for those suffering and with a terminal diagnosis, but that's no longer the case. Living with something like a brain injury and even other kinds of, uh, you know, disabilities that can cause cognitive issues, you can find yourself in some really dark places. And sometimes it's really, really hard not to give up. Disabled advocates have long argued medical and social supports have significant weights and are too difficult to navigate, especially for those with serious health challenges. It's really, really hard to have the, the sheer energy to have to call back to ask for more help. They fight every day for an assisted life and they feel that they're just now being offered an assisted death. The Duncans are now joining the effort to establish safeguards they believe failed their family. My mom's suffering ended, and now we are going to suffer for a lifetime without her. Penny, such a heartbreaking story, and there's so many complicated ethical issues here. Is there any chance the assisted, cha um, any change that the assisted dying laws will be dialed back? or restricted. Uh, if anything, Mijung, it's actually going to be the opposite. There are discussions underway to expand eligibility so that mental illness and suffering alone will qualify someone to ask a doctor to help them die. These are really complex, thorny ethical issues, but the Duncan family really hopes that this opens a discussion and that Canadians are aware that it will become easier for those struggling, at least it looks that way, for those looking to end their lives, as it's also becoming, at the same time, much harder to access supports. Mm -hmm. And the pandemic really did complicate this case as well, didn't it? And many others as well. All right. Thank you, Penny.